Hey everyone, welcome to the very first UFC Fight Night 150. Jacare Souza versus Jack Hermanson. Today we're using Jacare in the middleweight division. I'm going to see if I can get at least two fights with Jacare. And then in the end of this video, I'm going to be showcasing another player. So if you guys would like to watch that, I would really encourage that you guys check that out. The player that I'm featuring, uh, that I'm going to be featuring in today's video is probably the best Jacare player in the game. I mean, Jacare in his hands is just a complete nightmare. <laughs> so just check it out. Check. I think you guys are going to be impressed with how he approaches the character and uh, maybe even learn a thing or two. Now, I'm facing Luke Rockhold. I love this matchup because I get to punch Luke Rockhold in the face. No, I'm not touching your gloves. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Of course, with, with Souza, the game plan is to try to get the fight to the ground, use grappling, get a submission or something. But we'll see. I'm going to do it all. Jacare also has very, very powerful hands. We'll go double under right here. No, I oh, stopped it. I want that double leg. Okay. We've got layers and layers and layers. No. Let's go body lock high. Oh, and there is another knee, and that has certainly been the primary weapon of choice for him here tonight. And he got it. I'm gonna go with the body lock high next time. Back to the feet now. Because he's gonna know to deny that double. I guess not. No, we'll try it again. We got enough GA by now. There you go. And this one also puts him in sight control, which he escaped. Honestly, man, my favorite Jacare fight was his fight against Chris Weidman. Honestly, that's my favorite fight from Jacare because he showed a he showed another side of his game in that fight. When that, that's when it comes to his boxing. Those Jesus Christ, this dude escaped. The boxing he showed in that fight, the head movement, and his ability to work the body with that lead hook. It was impressive to me, it really was. Doing an excellent job blocking here. Nice jab. Chris Weidman, of course, is one of those guys that his head here. never really got outstruck by anyone, even though he was in there with way better strikers. No. Trying to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He gets that double no, under sir. Hooks, and he goes to the knee to the body. Again. Yeah, Chris Weidman, man. No. Oh, my God. I can't. Hold on. We got to try to tighten up this. Uh, tighten things up a little bit. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Shakane Souza. I want that stat guard. And busy as he looks to position here. You gotta pre-deny that thing. Like, well, not really pre-deny, but you have to Final deny it here. way earlier. Which means you have to expect it. You know, and sometimes I forget that some characters have that. But yeah, man. Chris Weidman is one of those characters, one of those fighters that he's able to outstrike fighters who have better striking on paper. I mean, he was able to outstrike Anderson Silva twice. Um, yes, he outstruck Anderson Silva twice. I know that sounds ridiculous to some of you, but he did. Um, dropped. And in this fight versus Jacare, as expected, he was also outstriking Jacare. Dropped again. Oh man, how that? How's that chin? How's that Rocco chin working out for you? Come here, Luke Rockhold. Don't do that. Oh my God. No. Oh my Lord. 
getting busy. Okay, let's hold something here. Inside control here. Okay, let's try to get him in the guillotine if he gets up. Lands the ground and pound strike. <sighs> Got one overhook and one underhook here. I'm just not I'm not focusing. <laughs> I'm not focusing. All sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. And this happens to me when I use Jacare, to be honest with you. It's like, he's one of the characters that I, I should be able to hold any position for, for a long time. But be, be because of how easy it is to actually get fights to the ground with Jacare, and just how much leeway you have on the ground, you kind of don't keep things as tight as you, you should. What? Dude, really? You're going to jab, jab me? Good luck with that, bro. Look at this. Rockhold gets hit with a kick. He appears largely unfazed, but he doesn't want to take too many more of those. I'm gonna knock this dude's head clean off. Level change there goes for the takedown. I will knock his head clean off. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is Okay, let's go to double under. Double under hooks in the clinch. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Rockhold. And pummels under and out of double underhooks. Stops it. Welcome to the. Nope, he gets up. Shakare gets up and decides to take this fight back to its feet despite having a seemingly dominant position on the ground. Constantly a moving target. Oh, I just want to knock this dude out so bad. Try to establish that jab. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Gotta find a way to... Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him with the right hand. Whoa! Please. There you go. And the classic, classic Luke Rockhold position against the cage. That is the same position he got knocked out by Michael Bisbank. And the same position he got knocked out by Yoel Romero. And now he's been knocked out in the same cage seated position by Jacare Souza. Beautiful thing to behold. Absolute beautiful to behold. Golly. All right. Let's move on. Let us move on. I'm going to do one more fight with Jacare. And I will be right back with you guys. Watch this again here. Right on the button. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution. And one of the bigger highlights of his U.S. Our tail of the tape for this middleweight fight. So All right, so we're facing Paulo Costa, who's a powerhouse in this weight class. Look at this, man. Identical. 6-1. 72 inch reach really i didn't know jacare's arms were that short i don't believe i don't buy it i know paulo has some t-rex looking arms i know that for a fact but i did not know jacare had the short arm syndrome thing going too that's kind of weird at least his body type doesn't look i think that is wrong i'm i'm positive i am positive that reach is incorrect for Jacare. I disagree completely. I'm gonna have to look it up, but I, I, I don't, I don't buy it. I do not buy it. But yeah, favorite Jacare fight hands down was his match versus Chris Weidman because he was losing that fight. You know, that's a fight that he was losing on the feet. He was getting touched up by Chris Weidman. You know, some clean, clean box and one of the best striking matches we've seen between two grapplers you know what i mean but in that third round man jacques ray was able to hit him with a clean right right at the temple it's one of the most devastating places to get hit and that was it all ready to go here with live action as we get underway from the crew the prudential right away uh-huh i already know this type yeah okay good luck with that bro come here That's a big shot right there. All right, let's try and keep things tight in this fight. I don't want it to be as sloppy as that first here. one on the ground. He's got to be careful as he has him stacked here, though. He doesn't get trapped into a triangle. 
No. Nice elbow to the body there by Shaka de Sosa there. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Shaka de Sosa. And he's back in the guard. Oh, elbow to the well, head. has been his primary weapon of choice tonight. Another big elbow landed by Costa. Back to stacking him. He's in half guard. Oh, he knees the body here inside mount. Nicely played. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Side saddle, baby. On the ground. I don't really like this position that much, He's to be honest. Back. No, come back right down here. Just over two minutes now to go. Got that one. He's now working for full guard. Look at how easy it is to just He's get to stack. Like, I'm just like slicing right through. Mm, nice. And they both stand up. He is going right back down if he keeps throwing these. Yeah, definitely going right back down. Oh, misses with the jab. Tagged him. Come right here. Big takedown. No, sir. Good shot to the body. There are a few more interesting fighters on this card. One of them being Glover Teixeira. I know Alex Oliveira is fighting as well. And I know Huge elbow lands to the head. Mike Perry is also fighting. So I think body shot body. the card doesn't happen in... No, sir. I think we're going to do a few more fighter showcases. Definitely want to get a fight in with Glover. And uh, I messed it up. Ah, damn it. I don't have enough time anyways. It's okay. Yeah, I know I definitely want to get a fight in with, with Glover. I do enjoy using Glover in the light heavyweight division. I like his boxing. And I think he feels pretty good. Just overall, he feels pretty good. It's, it's not like Glover from UFC 2. This is this is good version of Glover. So, let's keep it going. Keep going southpaw. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. So now he's throwing hooks because he <laughs> he knows I'm trying to well, slip straight into a takedown. The, head, the hook shot blocked by Shakare Sosa there. He's out. Battling for hooks. Yep. Just well, don't throw down. jabs. Don't throw jabs or straights. Stick with the hooks, big boy. Or I don't know, pre-denied a takedown. It's not that hard, bro. He's gotta be real careful about how he engages. Back to the stand up now, both fighters. Am I gonna right uh oh? Yeah, baby. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always Oh, he got it. He got it. Beautifully executed sweep. I wanna submit this dude. That's what I want. His misses are I want to tap him out. Shakare gets caught with that punch. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is... Oh! He's in big, big, big trouble. With a nice takedown! No, sir. I guess, I guess he got it. They're locked in a clinch. Double. Costa gets back up. Oh, nice okay. At least staying upright on that. Stop this one. Now Shakare working some knees out of the clinch. There you go. There you go. Sosa gets another takedown. The question now, what will he do with it? Good shot to the head. In half guard. Top mount. No, Four. sir. See if we can tap him out from here. Gets the elbow up into the target. <laughs> Thank you for the GA, brother. Under two minutes to go in round two. It looks like he's hunting for an arm here. Turns the hips. He's going to sit back. Throw the leg over the face. It's getting tighter. He may have to tap. Oh, this is so easy. Oh, my God, bro. Holy really shit, dude. Easy. 
I am terrible at submissions. And I say, I mean, I'm the worst, the worst there is at submissions. And that was just, oh my God. Dude, dude, get in submissions with Jacare. Wow. Wow. That is something else, man. And here it is again. I might just Absolutely use this character a lot more executed. and pad my submission record, dude. Holy shit. Especially if you and get any time, type of, like, nice grapple advantage. Submission. Their gates move so slow, but most importantly, your prompt shows up so quickly. So a seminal moment for him here oh, my Joe Lord. As he gets the win by way of it's actually so better than Damian Maya's. Like, that's career. what I've seen. And Actually going for submissions because I, I use Damien Maya quite a bit and I, I, I do get a few submissions with Damien But there's something about Jacques Array's submissions that it's just like easy mode, bro God, I can't imagine him in the hands of someone like Retro Rocky who I am about to showcase I'm gonna end this video and then uh, I'm gonna show it as a bonus fight uh, later in the video but that is it thank you so much for watching people enjoy the bonus fight and uh, I'll see you guys later stay safe Okay, people, so, hold on, is this thing recording? What the, oh, right, <laughs> I forgot, he told me that uh, uh, he had other people talking in the background, he left his microphone on. Anyways, this is a showcase for Retro Rocky, oh wow, this dude denies takedown. He is using Jacare Souza, and he's facing Nick Diaz. And uh, this is one of the best Jacare players in the whole entire game. Just any player that, any character that's all about grappling, submissions. Retro Rocky is your guy. I mean, his grappling is on a completely different level in EA Sports UFC 3. And he actually started in, from UFC 2. He has always been pretty damn good at grappling, but he's just... I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know if he's better in UFC 3 with grappling or if he was better in UFC 2. He would have to tell you himself. But right there, he gets that beautiful, uh, beautiful teep to the cage into over under. And he tries to go for the takedown immediately. He denies that, of course. And he's going to go for the body lock high. Look at how fast that thing was. Interesting. So what I noticed was rather than go for the knee, he used the shoulder, the shoulder bump a little bit. Maybe that gives you more GA. I don't know. I have to look at it. But that's what I just noticed right there. He didn't really throw knees in that position. He went for the shoulder bump. Now he's in half guard. Of course, Nick Diaz is no joke from the bottom, so I don't. Boom, slices. And gets reversed a little bit right there. Very nice sweep winds up in his guard. And now he has he has Nick in his guard, which is, of course is a dangerous place to be if you're Nick or anyone, man, honestly. You don't want to be in Jacare's guard. Oh, he goes for the own bar. Oh my god, he's gonna get it. Look at how slow that thing's moving. Uh-huh. One more, one more, it's over, he got it, yep, yep, that is what facing Retro Rocky is like, he gets you in one submission, just put down your controller bro, <laughs> he taps out Nick Diaz bro, Nick Diaz, that's impressive, that is, that's really, really damn impressive, even with Jacare, I mean, it's Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz has extremely high submission defense. He taps him with a full bar submission. All right. So I'm going to showcase one more fight because this one was kind of fast. And I just I didn't want to show just one fight. There is one fight that he didn't want me to showcase. So I'm not going to put that one in. 
We're gonna go with uh, the he said he sent me three fights, so I'm gonna go with the second one he sent, and uh, it's going to start right now. This one is against Robert Whitaker. Of course, Robert Whitaker is also no joke in this weight class. He is the champion. Um, but I would rather fight Robert Whitaker than face Jacare any day, to be honest with you guys. Here we go. Oh, my man is already throwing the, all kinds of combinations. Jesus, look at this. The classic Robert Whitaker combos, man. That flow. Look at this. Look at how fast those hands are. Very good job of timing these punches. And he connects there. Able to check that kick yeah. as well. Front kick he's to trying to push him back to the cage. And he's rocked. Oh, he's hurt here. Hard hook. Oh, look Jesus, man. I'm, dude, I'm surprised Robert is not on his back already, to be honest. With these combos he's throwing, like, personally, I would not even pl I would not even play around with that. Here we go. Gets him in over-under and tries that same... Okay, hold on. Is he going to go for a knee or bump him? There you go. See the bump? There's something. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to need to ask him, but there has to be something with the bump because he's not going for the knee. Like, in the double underhooks, he's going for that shoulder bump, and I think maybe that gives you more GA. I don't, I don't know. Don't quote me on it. I'll have to lab it to, to be sure. But right now, he is in full mount. That is a nightmare. Oh, boy. Got to roll to your back, brother. Nope. Knocks him out of it with a straight. And he's going for, look at that. Left hook, left hook, and then straight. Denies that one, straight. Left hook, right hook. He escapes. Arm triangle. Yep, that's it. He's going to get it. It only takes one. Look at that. Okay, he got out. Working from side control. No, sir. I guess yes, sir. Beautifully executed sweep. That would have given him a shitload of GA. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. Well, he established nice the jab. jab early and going right back to the well here. Oh, nice strike landed there by Sosa. He's trying to pull counter right there. Effective punch there by Shakare Sosa there. Fainting with the punch. Look at look at Robert's face, bro. Busted up, dude. Look at look at his face. It's all busted up and bleeding. Look at that. He's timing that jab. Nice combo. Hit him with that jab left hook. Cross left hook. That's a good combo. Look at that face, man. Look at that face. Let's see some of the action here. I guess they like that oblique from the rear leg. But I would say, I don't even know how I would score that first round. All right, round two. And they touch gloves the right back round, to it. His opponent was clearly hurt. He's gonna this is a matchup I would like to see. I really would. Oh, he gets rocked again. Okay, he tried to go for the hit reaction takedown on that one, but I think he delayed the double just a little bit, which allowed his opponent to deny it. And he's trapped in half guard here. He got tagged there. Excellent movement here on the ground. And he gets right back up. Smart. He gets rocked. Damn. This could be it right here. Oh, that was beautiful. Are you joking me? Are you serious? The uh, the backward moving sway into a takedown. Okay. Okay. Noted. <laughs> Duly noted. 
Man, there's so many ways to gain grapple advantage. Like, I don't even remember all of them. But as you watch some of these high-level players do it, you start to, at the very least, it reminds you... Uh-oh, arm triangle. This one's looking very, 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 very good. Yep, yep, he's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. Unless he makes a mistake, this is it. It's over. It's done. Yep. There you go. And that is it. This is a this has been a proper showcase for Jacare Souza. Two fights from me, one submission, two solid fights from Retro Rocky, two solid submissions. Hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. I definitely enjoyed uh, watching these fights and recording it. Thanks a million to Retro Rocky for sending in his videos. I really appreciate that, man. And uh, I will see you guys later. Like I said, I'm probably going to do a few more showcases for this for this card. Probably Glover to share or Mike Perry, maybe Charles Oliveira. It all depends on how much time I have. But I'll let you guys know. That is it. Thank you for watching. It means a lot. I will see you guys later. As always, stay safe. Have a wonderful day.